Hello all, this is a, a review, and as you can see, this is not a sponsored video by Sweetwater. I did pick up this uh, Pioneer DJ HDJ X7 headphones from Sweetwater. Great customer service, great uh, music gear retailer. And um, as you can see here, I'm pointing, uh, you see my old Techniques headphones. They're also a DJ headphone, so I did pick up a Pioneer DJ new controller, the DDJ um, 800 from Sweetwater as well, as well. So I figured it was, it was the right time to up upgrade my um, DJ headphones. So you can see it's a very nice packaging, premium, like kind of a little shiny um, print on the front. Very nice uh, presentation. It does have all the features in the back. And um, yeah, I think I'm looking forward to checking these um, this headphones out. I'm going to this, the next half of the video, I'll do an on camera, um, give you my um, assessment of my, you know, after using these this headphones see how they um, performed and my thoughts and opinions so stay tuned for the next half of this video so this this part we're just going to unbox as you can see it does have a, a little tagline in the front in the inner box it's like deeper connection very nice so we, as we open this up there is looks like another box and i'm almost certain those are the accessories and they are the accessories and there's different cables and you can see this is a coiled cable so just like the the techniques you showed before the old one I'm glad it does have a coil cable and that actually is I think that's um, 3.9 feet in length if I'm not mistaken if I remember the specs on the um, the cables so it does have mini jacks and also does have a quarter inch adapter as well very nice the DJ controller I have the DDA GA 800 does have the mini and a full size I usually use the quarter um, quarter size adapters but it does have a L shaped mini jack there the other end goes into the headphones itself very nice. And then the next one we're looking at, this is a straight cable. I'm glad they included this as well. That, I believe, is 5.2 feet length, if I'm not mistaken. It does have also a carrying pouch, which is great. It's got a nice little um, soft finish. And I don't know what that material is. Um, if it's like a, a fake leather or whatever, but nice sheen in the interior. It does have some drawstrings. So if you, you know, put your headphones in the, throw it in the luggage, you can do as well. And there is the instructions. We won't bore you to death. We won't look at that. But as we put um, put on the quarter inch adapter, and we're gonna, now we're going to look at the headphones closely, up close. So very good looking headphones. Um, definitely got different materials. You can definitely um, fill in the little texture on there. It's like it's got metal. There are some plastic parts, and there it does have looks like it's, it does have um, yeah the texture on that looks looks pretty nice. It does have some little plastic there there's some more some rubber there nice grip so you can grip your the headphones do feel kind of fairly light a um, little got some little weight to it and there's the pioneer dj logo on the headband which is a polyurethane um i believe leather there's the ear pads the same material and there's a 50 millimeter drivers in there and it's got some, looks it's definitely a rugged looking um headphones and does have um a little metal piece there does you know definitely looks like it does you know very adjustable as well and definitely looks um, very flexible and we're gonna move these around and we'll put this um we'll try to put it together here see if i can get this folded up because it that it'll actually fit into the the pouch overall so we'll, we'll see if we can figure this out i'm sure it'll takes a little finagling but we'll eventually get there but yeah there we go push it right there and get the get the other one in there and yeah it's going to look uh, very nicely well compact. But this is a very rugged design. I guess they said the U.S. Military Shock Standard Test. Uh, Pioneer did on these this, this headphones. Uh, so they're pretty rugged, though. And like I say, there's got a little flexibility there into it. So, yeah, and then this is uh, the cable goes right in. Twist and turn. Very nice. And you can you can replace that cable if it breaks or what have you. And then it's not going to come out by no means at all. So very good looking um, headphones. This portion of the video I'm going to talk about my um, user experience with the headphones, um, how they fit, how they feel in your head. As you can see, I'm wearing them right now, even how they sound. Um, before I begin, I did mention in the, in the first half of the video, I did DJ with my brother back in the day. We used to do house parties in high school back in the mid 80s, early 90s, college, college dances and what have you. And with that being said, I pretty much do, you know, DJ is a hobby now in my game room. And um, I did recently upgrade um, my DJ controller was a Native Instruments Tractor Control S2 to the Pioneer DJ DDJ 800, and and again with that being said, pairing these with that DDJ 800 was definitely a good um, complement. Definitely, uh, definitely performed well in that aspect. They are compatible with other DJ controllers and other brands as well. Um, but with that, 
definitely was a, a good user experience so far. Um, for like I said, the fit, they're, they're nice and snug, not too tight. I didn't wear them for super long um, sessions, mix sessions and stuff, so I couldn't really comment, you know, if they would, you know, start getting uncomfortable or what have you. But for overall, just the comfort, build, comfort level of these, definitely very, very positive for sure. I mean, they're definitely, you know, flexible where you can, you know, if you want to cue, you can even, you know, around your neck, what have you. Um, but yeah, just just the, the overall feel of these headphones is very nice. Um, like I said, even Pioneer DJ mentioned earlier the military shock test, they are, you know, got the durability. So if you're out there mobile DJ and you're out there in the clubs, even in the bedroom or in the game room, I think these will, will definitely will hold up well. So um, in that aspect, talking about the, 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 the fit and the, and the feel, let's talk about the sound quality. Sound quality wise, it was definitely I was I was very pleased with it. Um, these 50 millimeter drivers definitely uh, performed in that aspect with the lows. The bass was pretty punchy. The high, the highs are nice. I mean, may not be audiophile quality for other some people, but I think these these delivered in that department music wise. I mean, they definitely was a nice compliment. You know, you can hear in the, the music in your headset, or I should say, your headphone um, compared. You know, listen to the Pioneer DJ monitors back here, um, which I will do a review as, as well as those. They differ to perform very well in that aspect um, with the, those monitors, with this, these headphones. But yeah, overall, sound quality, the package that Pioneer DJ did with these, these headphones um, definitely delivered. I mean, between the durability, the sound, uh, for this with this price range, these um, I think the, they did deliver, did really good. And giving kudos on that aspect of this, the, the way they, they did this particular headphone, this, this whole package. Um, but you know, if you're looking for less expensive ones, they might be a bit, you know, you know, and not wanting these more expensive ones. Um, I think they would be, um, definitely would deliver uh, your DJ experience. I think they would be very pleased. So I would recommend these overall, you know, so that's my, my opinion, my final assessment. Very pleased with it. Um, and I appreciate y'all watching. I definitely hope this video was helpful in any buying decisions you may have and looking for a professional DJ headphone. Um, definitely consider subscribing to my channel for future videos on tech like this and on headphones gaming headsets I do um, the, uh, on collectibles as well I do um, reviews on you know gameplay video games and have, what have you so don't forget that hit that notification bell for future videos and until the next one take care